What is up guys, it's your boy Lightning here and welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I get my Valorant day started. This isn't really a day in the life, but it's just how I play Valorant day to day and how my Valorant experience is. This is, this is going to be a start to um, a series that I want to start. It was kind of like uh, rising the ranks. If you guys do remember that one video that I made, but it's going to be like a subtle, subtle series that I wanted to make. It's just going to be like road to the next rank, basically. So right now I'm silver two. And I think the last time I'm, I might've been bronze two. So we've had some major improvement, but as you guys can see, the next rank is gold. Well, silver three, then gold. So basically it is, uh, road to gold and then once we get gold it's gonna be road to plat once we get plat what's gonna be road to diamond and it's it's gonna keep going up and up up and up until we get to radiant which i believe i believe i believe i believe that we can definitely make radiance it's 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 possible but it's definitely gonna take time before we get this video started i just wanted to tell you guys like the video once you guys get done watching it subscribe to and comment down below what you think about this new series that I'm bringing, if you guys like it, if you guys dislike it, anything like that. So let's hop straight in the video. So I actually, uh, I don't even get warmed up on, uh, what's it called? I actually don't get warmed up on Valorant. I get warmed up on CSGO. I use this uh, workshop map. It's very, very popular. It's called Bots. And uh, why is my settings like this? What the heck? I don't know why my settings were like that, but uh, I just, uh, I don't know why my settings were like that. But uh, once you load into the map, you'll see this big, huge thing around here. You want to basically like click, you want to hit that. Uh, you want to hit the very closest part to the rect square and it'll bring up this wall. So once you do that, it will basically bring up this wall and it will divide like every, it will make all the bots go into one area. And that's how I like it. So I don't really change anything. Um, I do on the FPS with a boost. So let's uh, let's get started. So usually, usually I'll start off just free aiming. I'll I'll like just start hitting some easy, you know, sprays. I'll start hitting some easy sprays from the headshot. I'll try to do recoil control, and then that's and then after I'll start just like slowly hitting head headshots see now the difference about csgo most of you guys already know this but it's actually i think from long range no for some reason every time i hit headshots i'll hit like right there i think i hit like a body shot right there and that's what's so just weird to me from csgo See, like that, I hit headshot, I saw the blood come up. See, now once I start getting the hang of like slow flicking, you know, hitting, getting to the headshots and stuff, uh, I look to the bottom right and it says that I have 200 kills. So I basically wait, basically train headshots until I get 200 kills. And then I, um, what is my, oh, I forgot. Uh, then I go to the Desert Eagle and I start hitting headshots with that because, you know, I'm not going to talk about that one black guy back there that I just could not hit. So I start practicing, I think around 50 kills with the Desert Eagle, because you know, it kinda, it kinda carries over. It kinda carries over like the Deagle, you already know the Deagle's the Sheriff. So in case I need to maybe buy uh, a Sheriff one game, I need to practice that aim. Uh, but it's, it's really, it's really simple just to this is my routine it could it actually could be very better if you guys have any other routines just um, leave them down in the comments actually because i i started out doing aim labs and for me that just did not help like aim labs just did not help 
And then once I'm once I get to that 50 range, 50 kill range, I'll do 50 uh, counter strafing, basically tap strafing. This improves muscle memory to uh, tap strafe, like when peeking an angle. So basically, once we once I get to that uh, 300 stage, I basically pick up the op, and then I work on uh, counter strafing. I am seeing that right. Counter strafing with the op. So like, if I have to peek a really quick angle, I can just like just counter strafe and then get that first point of accuracy. So we just loaded into a deathmatch, which is the next step of our routine. We want to. We want to. Uh... Oh Jesus! Oh, that's fun. We want to basically divide up the 40 kills that you're supposed to use in deathmatch into three guns: the sheriff, the guardian, and the vandal. That's basically what I do. For my warm-up it definitely helps sorry it's so hard to like commentate and focus and play the game at the same time oh, I didn't even see her there but you want to get 10 kills with the sheriff 10 kills with the guardian and then 20 kills with vandal that's how I usually work it and it usually helps a lot for me to start with my game and this I don't like this sheriff skin but it's better than all the other skins I have I don't know why I started jumping, but we were doing such a good start in the beginning. And it's all right to miss those couple shots. You just have to learn from them. And cross, I'm trying to work on crosshair placement. I don't really know how to work on it other than just keeping my crosshair close to the angle and then basically just waiting for someone to... See, like that, it... It, it was a little bit above his head, and it's it's confusing to me to work crosshair placement, but... <laughs> what kills? We, have, we need five more kills with the Sheriff, and then we move on to Guardian. It's 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 so hard to warm up in here with Sheriff because everyone has vandals. Oh my gosh, I should have hit that. Oh my gosh. And you can you can hear someone using the Guardian too, so they're probably warming up. There's a lot of I didn't. There's a lot of different aiming routines. That definitely should have hit. Okay. Oh. <gasps> I swear that hit her. I'm not even joking. Oh, I thought he was guarding. All right, now we can move on to the Guardian. Then we have to get ten, 10 kills with Guardian. <laughs> but Guardian's relatively easy. Or not. Usually it's easy for me, but when I'm not recording. See, I was about to go off. I was so about to go off. I just don't understand. Like, I don't understand because I could hit the same shots with Guardian that I do with Sheriff. But it's just completely different. Oh, I was going to hit his head. I was going to hit his head, but I didn't. The bullet like grazed his ear. Oh my gosh, it's like every time. Really, I'm only looking at the leaderboard to see how many kills I have. Not even to see if I'm winning. Because right now, I all I care about is warming up for 
unrated and competitive. Oh, why? Why do you come up behind me? Oh, now I can use Vandal. 20 kills. That should have been an easy kill, honestly. Alright, so we the other deathmatch ended. So we had to go into a new one. But since we go, uh, this most likely happens, so you have to do two death matches in like a row. But um, this kind of helps with if you need any other guns that you need to practice on. Uh, you can basically do that. Usually I only do um, Vandal and Phantom, so I'll pick 20. I'll usually get 20 kills with Vandal and then I'll switch over to Phantom. That's usually what I do, but sometimes I'll... I might switch it up and do something else. It just depends. But I'm. I think the next Valorant video will be uh, Road to Gold. As I said, I wanted to start it, but Ugh. as I said, I wanted to start it. Uh, I wanted to start a new Valorant series. You know, rise through the ranks and stuff. That's what my old Valorant rank series was. But it, me and my friend Suki. Kind of stop playing ranked with me. It's fun. I'll play. I'll play with him time to time. But he is gold right now, so I, I wanted to get gold because of him. Oh my gosh! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! These, these niggas are tryhards. Alright, so we still need six, uh, actually eight more kills to switch to the Phantom. Dude, I hate Pearl so much. Dude, this bro, he is like fully moving and he sh like one taps me. Give me the health. Dude, I was right there. Alright, looks like we can finally switch to the Phantom. But I won't be able to, because since I keep dying. Why do you camp there? That's what I don't understand about Deathmatch. They like play it to win. That just does not like, like that does not make sense to me. Why do you play it to win? It doesn't, it barely gives you any XP. Dude, come on. Alright guys, so that's basically it of my uh, aim routine, and then after this, I would usually go into swift play and then go into competitive, but if you guys do enjoy this video, please hit the like button, subscribe today to see more videos and more content on my channel, comment down below what you all thought about today's video, and personally, I, th uh, this is my rank right here, so the next Valorant video will be like a road to gold basically. So, we're going to be trying to get the gold, and then once we get the gold, it's going to be road to plat. Once we get the plat, it's going to be the diamond. Yada, 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 until we reach that radiant rank, because everyone can do it. It's possible. So, all you got to really do is just believe. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.